Dear brothers. I am Atama. Let's continue our journey with Chapter 3 of Book 2 of Telos. Many wonder why there is so much difference between the regions of your planet. Every place, every country, every region has a story, many stories of pain, of wars, which can bring a lot of suffering to the minds of many. Much will be brought to your attention soon. We can say that it will be the truth of truths, which were completely manipulated to become false truths. But going back to the chapter of the book, we talk there about an energy union between three countries, Canada, Brazil, and France. Planet Earth is divided into many energy points, points that are essential to the entire energy balance of the planet. Notice that these three points form an inverted triangle. This triangle plays an important role in three countries that join the ones I mentioned, Argentina, the United States and Germany. I'm not going to remind you of the story that you created yourselves, but all of these countries have a very large share of negative energy to be transmuted, and exactly the proximity to these energy points means that all of this has been worked on for a long time to get to the point current, to the point of the planet's ascension. Many of you create negative feelings towards some type of race or people. I would say that this was all very well manipulated and implanted in their minds. There are no better people or worse people on the planet, all are children of father or mother God, all are divine sparks. Now each soul chooses the path it wants, each soul chooses the side when fighting, the light or the shadow. There is no country on this planet where all the inhabitants are light, nor where all the inhabitants are shadows, despite many people thinking so. So you generalize and look at some countries with anger, with hatred, and often think about even destroying them, erasing them from the map because they only bring pain and suffering. I would say that these feelings are no longer appropriate. There is no need for discrimination or separation. I would say that very soon you will be able, in fact, today many already have this capacity, you will be able to look at a person and see their soul, see what they vibrate, light or shadow. And what will you do? Ah, if the person is us you will run and hug them, without asking yourself, or better yet without asking them if they wanted that hug or if you see a person from the shadows you will take justice into your own hands, because you will be angry. With everything you will know? I would say you are not entitled to anything. You need to love unconditionally. You need to look at a brother, whether light or shadow, in the same way. This is the great teaching. So the points of this energetic triangle attract high vibration souls, they attract souls that are capable, as a whole, of changing the vibration of those around them. But like I said, none of these countries are entirely light. They all have a percentage of each. Of course, I'm not going to say how much here. So it's not like looking at these countries I mentioned with anger or some kind of judgment. You need to learn to forgive, to understand that you as souls have also made a lot of mistakes in the past. Today you can consider yourself almost perfect beings of light, be careful with your ego, because there is no perfection in any of you. You are on the path of achieving the proper vibration for the fifth dimension, but there is no perfection in that. None of you are there yet. So how to judge a brother? I would say that if you are a being of light today, your soul has learned its lesson and brought you into this incarnation as an evolved being, a being who has consciousness and who is seeking to ascend. Not all souls achieved this, some remained what they always were and are incarnated today in the same way. So you will feel superior to them, you will boast that your soul was able to find the way and they were not. So because of that they deserve to be destroyed. My brothers, as long as there are these thoughts of judgment, discrimination, superiority and power on the surface of this planet, you will achieve nothing, you will achieve it separately, not as a people, not as a country. So what will happen in the future, probably that some souls from each people, from each country, will ascend, not as a homeland, not as a race, not as a people, because you cannot see each other as equals. You judge each other you separate, and as you separate you lose strength. So we are not talking about countries here so that you now look at them in the wrong way, with resentment in your hearts. We are talking here about souls who need help, who need to see the light. The role of each pillar of light on this planet, 
incarnated at this moment, is to attract souls who are in the shadows to the light, and it's not pulling by the hand, it's not imposing, it's simply being light. Being light is very difficult, because there is still a lot of ego in each one of you. So each one thinks they are doing better than the other, that their way of emanating light is more perfect than the others. There is only one way for the emanation of light, it is to come from the heart. Is there intensity? Of course yes, you are pillars, and the pillars are not fully illuminated, you are pillars with illuminated bases and with each step you take towards the light you fill this pillar with light. The more illuminated you are, the more you attract those who need light along the way. So don't try to be superior to anyone because you are not. This is exactly why nothing has happened up to this point, nothing that you can say, ah, see, it happened, because we have done everything to save humanity, not just a few. We are not just focused on those who emanate light, on the contrary, we are focused on those who have not yet found the light, because the great will of Father or Mother God would be for this entire planet to ascend, every soul present here. And this is our work, working with the souls that have not yet found the path and the souls that are in the shadows, because those who have already found the path to the light do not need help, they already know what has to be done. So, my brothers, don't think you're superior, don't think you're better than anyone else, because each people has its own history. Every point on this planet has a lot of negative history to be fought, to be transmuted, and Gaia is playing this role transmuting many energies so that the people who remain can find the light. Then many may ask, but finding the light through suffering. This is one of the ways, it is the way you stop and think, it's the way we find to attract attention, because otherwise you don't see it. You need to go through very difficult situations so that you stop and think, and from there you can choose a path. So my brothers, you who live or live in these countries that are points of this triangle, you are not superior to anyone. I would say that there is a greater concentration of souls of light, of evolved souls in these countries, but they are not yet capable of avoiding much injustice, of avoiding hunger, of avoiding violence. So where would your superiority be? Understand, you are not even capable of keeping your countries fully within the light. So don't think of yourselves as superior. You have a role, of course, a very important role, but don't see yourself as superior because of it. Each person is walking their own path, each soul, from the shadows or from the light, it doesn't matter, each one is making a choice and it will be based on the choice of each soul that the planet and those on it will ascend.